Hello everyone, this is Venom, and we are here with This Week in Destiny. Today is May 9th, and this week's has been a doozy. Now, Bungie has been cooking not only on the content they're giving us and on the updates we're going to be getting when Final Shape comes out, they're cooking when it comes to giving us some information, too. Now, we actually got some info today I didn't think we were going to get until the new uh, expansion dropped. I did not think we were going to find out what the new class item perk rolls are going to be. Not only did we find out what some of them are going to be, we found out what all of them are going to be. We know how they work. We know we've confirmed some theories. It turns out a lot of the theories I had were correct. It turns out some of the combinations I wanted to see, in fact, almost all of them were correct. We're going to be able to roll those. It's going to be pretty insane. We're going to go ahead and go through this week in Destiny. I'm going to be doing all the perk rolls in a separate video because I'm going to, I'm going to go over them in detail, but I'm going to go over them briefly in the today's twit, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, so this week in Destiny, May 9, 2024, it says, This week in Destiny, we are talking a bit more about exotic class items. We announced them along with the Prismatic subclass, and it's time we tell you more about this groundbreaking addition to Destiny 2. And that's just our first topic for the week. Let me make this a bit bigger. Now, this week we got info about the class items. We got uh, the new Pantheon update. We got some red border information and more. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, it starts off, a matter of exotic class items. This morning, we shared some amazing videos showcasing the prismatic subclass uh, coming with the pounder shape. Check them. Uh, I just put check them, not check them out. That was weird. But uh, let's go ahead and check out the Warlock first. This is the Warlock one. I saw these earlier, and I thought that they were what we had already seen. But in my head, I, it didn't click. I'm like, wait, we haven't seen class-specific ones. So let's go ahead and check out the Warlock here. All right, I'm going to just transcend and just send it on this guy. Oh, my God. Ooh, snipers up top, watch him. Oh, nice. He's pushing Paul up this side. That was awesome. He's using the uh, right. Halo pistol. I got grenades on those down there. Anything left? There's a couple. Oh, get him. Get him. Yep. I'm just shocking yeah, abilities and praying over here. We got the get that bottom score, right? Here's got Radiant <laughs> Devour going. Uh, Alright, let's kick some butt here. Yep, Radiant Devour pretty much going at all times. Sweet. The There's that. Strand Super. Yeah. <laughs> I dive bombed out of them with my Fredlings. Ooh. Ooh, one more, one more, one more. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, was that not for bad? Hold on. Let me back up. Ooh, ooh, no, no. I got you. I, I got you. Not there we go. I don't think that. Get out of here. One more. Yeah. That looks like non forgotten. I can't yeah. tell for sure. Get out of here. Look at the other weapon. Here. Get out of here. 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 He's got a sidearm. I don't know what that is. I can't. Rec I don't recognize this. What is this? I don't know what that is, but it, it looks like it might be not for God, but I'm not sure. Ooh, ooh, no, no, I got you. I got you. Okay, there we go. That there was go. amazing. There uh, we go. So here's the one for the hunter. So not going to PvP again. I think this was a new auto right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So now that looked pretty cool. It looked like almost like this threaded spike just got all those guardians on the one shot. That looked pretty crazy. Yes, get grenade. Got grenade. Got him. 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 Taste the rainbow! There we go. Now we're grooving. There we go, we got subjugator. Uh, Our subjugator back. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Did he just turn invisible when he dodged? Hold on. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, oh. Okay, oh, he's oh. definitely visible right here. Oh. So either he got a kill just then, or go. somehow. It had to have been from a kill. So dodging, <laughs> that worked really, really well. Dodging. And then we'll check out the Titan here. Oh, alright. We got some, uh, some new combatants up here. Epic. And he's using exactly what I was planning on doing. He's got concentration. No, this is the classic Destiny of, uh, experience. Oh, it's, it's, everything's green. 
and then everything's blue, and then there's orange. We suppress them, we freeze them, we incinerate them, we do everything today. Man, just to press your skills, recharge too much quicker when you got for the bag. You want to just kind of open up a lot of skills. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. That shield. Oh yes! <laughs> yeah, that looks like. Get out of here. But it's got it's the end of it. Third, looks like it's the fourth. Onslaught. I couldn't tell how many kills that was. As you can see, you are not only have the new aspects and fragments coming when prismatic, but also we'll get to further expand your options with the new exotic class items. Uh, these are very special additions to Destiny 2, as each exotic class item will have two random exotic perks from a selection using exotic armor perks, or a selection of existing armor perks, including some that belong to classes other than yours. How to earn them. The exotic class items will be part of a new activity that unlocks after the raid world first. So, we're not going to be able to farm for these. I don't even know if we can get them at all, but it looks like we cannot farm for the new class item until world's first is done. So it looks like that's maybe part of the reason why they moved their raid up so early. Um, it's about two to three days early. That could be one of the reasons they did that. But they also mentioned that a lot of the expansion is going to be happening after that raid. So that might be another re or that is another reason why. But uh, if you think you're going to go in and start farming these, you're not going to be able to until after it. Uh, it says at the beginning of week two. So basically you cannot farm for the exotic class of them until the beginning of week two. Don't know how I feel about that one, but I'll get over it after the first week anyway. So. Uh, we don't want to spoil what the activity is or how to unlock it, but we can say it's formable and we'll get a guaranteed random roll each time you complete it. So that could be cool. Um, I'm guessing, I mean, I don't need, think it's going to be a seasonal activity, but there is something we're going to be doing to get a, uh, a guaranteed roll. I've heard a lot of rumors it's going to be a 12 man activity. Who knows? There's been so many rumors and, and, uh, leaks coming about final shape. It, it's hard to keep track of everything. I'm just going to be surprised when it comes out. So. We are going to be getting guaranteed exotics. I don't know how hard that form is going to be, but we'll see when it comes out. Now, uh, how many exotic perks? Similar to how Prismatic has a selection of abilities among all light and darkness classes, the exotic class items in the final shape will have a mix of exotic armor perks available for each class. We included some fan favorites as well as some perks that align with the Prismatic abilities and aspects. We also chose to put perks in each column that would compound with each other, allowing for combinations that feel powerful and complementary, such as a Warlock bond with Spirit of Apotheosis and Spirit of the Star Eater. Prismatic is all about combining effects that used to belong to specific subclasses, and we wanted to bring that design to the exotic class items too. So in many cases, we've adjusted the perks to work with a broader array of abilities. For example, Spirit of Caliban on the Hunter Cloak works with all powered melees, not just Proximity Knife. That is amazing. Uh, to keep things balanced, we have narrowed some of the perk effects to what we believe the spirit of it, uh, the original exotic, was. I think my boy's waking up a bit. Uh, this allows a combination of two of them to not be overwhelming, and it maintains a reason to run the original exotic armor. When a perk on the class item has the same effect as its original version, you should expect some tuning changes. For example, in the final shape, the original armamentarium and six Heraldi will gain the ability to create orbs of light from a grenade and dodge, respectively. Check out all the possible combinations below. And here we actually go through and actually list. I've actually got another tab pulled up with all the perks pulled up where I can compare them. Uh, I'm going to go into those uh, in detail in another video, but I will say this. There were some theories about how these would work. Uh, a lot of these are kind of neutral neutral perks, but what we did figure out, uh, every class is going to get the Spirit of the Assassin, Spirit of the Inmost Light, and Spirit of the Ophidian, as well as the Spirit of Star Eater, Spirit of the Centoseps, and Spirit of Verity. After those six, every other perk is going to be class specific. So here are the actual perks I've got pulled up here. Uh, I had them scroll down to the right ones. So this was for the Hunter. This one, I believe, was for the Titan. And then this one was on a Warlock, but I moved it. Here we go. Here's the Warlock. So you can actually see on all of these, the first few perks are the same. You see Spirit of the Assassin, Inmost, Orphidian, Assassin, Inmost, Orphidian, Assassin, Inmost, Orphidian. But past that, all of these are going to be class specific. So for the example, I've got the Hunter here. It's got Spirit of the Coyote, but when you go over to the the uh, Warlock, it's got Spirit of the Claw. So you don't have Spirit of the, uh, the Coyote. So uh, there's about, there are six that are going to be 
in the general pool, and then there are going to be 10 that are going to be class specific. So, and all those are going to be rolling in different columns. So we did get that confirmation as well. Each column is going to have a set of perks that's going to be rolling for them. So it looks like it's going to be eight on each column. So you're not going to be getting spirit of filaments, for example, on the second row and vice versa. So that is good to know. We've got pretty much everything we need to start making real builds now. I was actually working on a Titan build and I was really kind of stuck on it because I didn't know what the exotics are going to be looking like. Now I know I can really go through and finish up that build so we can go ahead and knock that one out. So uh, I'll go into details on all those perks in the next video. Let's go ahead and finish up the twid for now. Uh, all these exotic class item perks will only work when you have the prismatic subclass equipped. So unfortunately, you cannot use these uh, exotic class items and get their effects on the light and dark subclasses by themselves. This only works with prismatic. We knew we couldn't fit everyone's favorite perk into these uh, without making the pools of available roles too large. It was a balancing act to support lots of exciting options while also making it reasonable to chase a specific combination. However, we were also making a set of exotic... Oh, excuse me. However, we are also making a set of exotic armor balance adjustments with the launch of the final shape, including some buffs that will impact both the original armor and its spirit version. So we are going to be getting some exotic armor tuning too, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully we're going to get some buffs for some armor that is very underused. So some of the class uh, item perk combinations might end up better than you expect. We'll have more to share about exotic armor balance in general in the coming weeks. So we're going to be getting more information about the exotic armor changes. I can't wait to see that. We hope the amazing combinations that the new exotic class items will allow when using Prismatic have ignited your imagination, and you are already wondering what builds will work best when the final shape arrives. Yes, I definitely am. Let us know and please share your build or early build ideas with us. Uh, and then next up, we got the Pantheon. So this week, we got the new addition to the Pantheon. We got Oryx the Taken King added. Um, he is going to be the newest addition to the Pantheon. If you're doing it with him, it's going to be minus 10 power. So that will be, he'll be taking place after eight tracks. So I have not got to do this yet with my clan. I do hope to try and do it this weekend, but he is the next, uh, the next boss added in. All right. All the deep sight weapons you can get. Welcome everyone to the Red Border Weapon Bonanza. In a similar fashion to what we did last year, players who have not earned enough deep sight weapons to unlock the patterns of year six seasonal weapons now have the chance to catch up before the final shape launches. Every day, from May 7th to June 3rd, players will get a guaranteed deep sight weapon drop upon completion of a seasonal activity. So, if you still have not unlocked the pattern for, say, the Radical Bow from Season of Defiance, you can complete a Defiant Battleground to receive a deep sight drop of that very weapon. You will get another the day after, and another the day after that one, so until you have, or, and so on until you completed the pattern. Don't worry much if you have more than one. If you keep playing, our knockout system will ensure you only get drops for those weapons. So if you need the deep sight weapon or a deep sight version of these weapons, if you have not finished them, if you just want to knock them out for collection, whether you want to use them or not, now's the time to go ahead and farm for those. You should get guaranteed ones every day. Not to mention you get them from the Ingrams as well. Uh, what activities can you play for each season to get these rewards? So for Season of Defiance, the Defiant Battlegrounds and the Avalon Mission will guarantee them. For Season of the Deep, you've got the Deep Dives and Salvage. For Season of the Witch, we got the Summoning Pools and Sabbath and Spire. And for Season of the Wish, of course, we got Riven's Lair and the Coil. Those have not changed. Uh, we hope you have a great time revisiting some of the amazing activities that have defined this year of Destiny 2, all while you complete your weapon collection. Now, here's some more good news. Here's what people, I know we're expecting this week. Uh, I don't remember if we knew the date or not, but everyone's been waiting for this one, including me, because a bad YouTuber, I have not actually got to play Zero Hour before. I never got to play it before. I did Whisper when it came out, but I never got to play Zero Hour, so I cannot wait to try this. And unfortunately, I never got anything from the original, but like I said, this one looked like it was pretty fun, and my guy, they're going to take me through it. I can't wait. Uh, first came the Whisper, then it was Zero Hour. The second ever Destiny 2 exotic mission is coming back on May 14th. You'll be able to find it in the Into the Light node in the director, and it has a few surprises up its sleeve. Those capable enough to complete it before the time runs out, 40 and 20 minutes respectively for Normal and Legend, will get the new craftable version of the Outbreak Perfected Exotic Pulse Rifle. Find some of the secret chests available each week to also unlock new additional perks for it. If you're looking for his exotic catalyst, you have to complete zero hour on legend difficulty, but remember that if you got the catalyst for the original version, you won't have to earn it again. That said, you will still want to do it to get the weekly triumph required to unlock the new exotic ship. 
Um, this is uh, and TR3 VR is near too. Remember TR3 VR, the overly attached robot that kept the Cryptarch's vault safe in zero hour? It was impossible to miss. So much joy, so many wonderful memories. Well, great news, everyone. He'll be back too. To celebrate his timely return, we will love if you all shared your best moments with him. Well scripted videos, funny screenshots, fan art, comics, musical numbers, it's all on the table. And if this is your first time meeting him, we can't wait to see your experiences. Don't forget to use uh, hashtag MyFriendTR3VR hashtag when sharing. I'm sorry, I guess Trevor is what his name is. Uh, my friend Trevor hashtag. Don't make fun of me. I never played it before. Uh, don't, don't forget to use uh, hashtag MyFriendTrevor hashtag when sharing on social media so we can see your creations and maybe pick a few to share in the future. Our favorite submissions could get in the AOTW or MOTW emblems. Don't forget to include your Bungie ID with your creation. Now, next up, we got the PvP, ma uh, PvP map trailers. Shax has been busy lately. Not only is he leading Guardians as they repel the Witnesses' forces in Onslaught, he's also secured three new maps for Crucible so everyone can test their 3v3 combat capabilities and new environments. Just remember to sign your waivers. New maps are called Eventide Labs, Sirius Plaza, and Dissonance, and they are set up on Europa, Neptune, and a terraformed pyramid ship. We have a new trailer so you can check them out in all their glory. Let's go ahead and check that out. I like how that grenade didn't do anything to the other guy. That was a lot dramatic. It was dissonance. This is the one that looked like scam. Very nice, very nice. Don't worry about map rotations either. These maps have their own playlists, so you can play them nonstop until you know them better than yourself. Everyone who participates in the playlist before the final shape goes live gets an incredible crucible theme emblem. A great time to jump into Destiny 2. In anticipation of our battle with the witness, we want everyone to be ready, and we really mean it. Starting May 7th and running through June 3rd. We've launched Destiny 2 expansion open access period. I believe we can access a Witch Queen, uh, Beyond Light, and I forgot what else. We're going to go ahead and check it out. Here we go. Uh, during those 28 days, the following content will be available to all players. The expansions. You get Shadow Keep, Beyond Light, and Witch Queen. Uh, and you get all the year six seasons. You can play all those up until, I think I said June 3rd. Uh, that's it. Let's go ahead and check that one out. It's going to be available to everybody. I don't know what comes next, but I know... There are greater threats on our doorstep. <laughs> it knows we're coming. We have work to do. PlayStation Plus members can also claim the Destiny 2 Lightfall, which will be available up until June 3rd. So there you go. If you got PlayStation, you can play Lightfall as well. No matter what expense you play, all the rewards you earn during this period are yours to keep forever, no matter if they're exotics, raid weapons, or high stat legendary armor. Uh, I'm assuming subclasses too, since Beyond Light was on there. Uh, and that's not all. When the Final Shape launches on June 4th, the campaigns for Shadow Keep and Beyond Light, along with the Stasis subclass, remain available for all players in no digital cost. Perfect. That's exactly what I was asking about. So it looks like basically you can go ahead and get Stasis for free. That's awesome. Uh, if you are looking to get everything else that Shadow Keep and Beyond Light expansions have to offer beyond the campaigns, we will have two packs at your disposal, similar to the Forsaken pack. Uh, these are these are the packs we're talking about. The details of them. Uh, it goes into what they got. There we go. Uh, exotic weapons, armor. You got, uh, Shadow Keep Nightfall, Pharisee Dungeon, and Garden of Salvation Raid. And so it just goes over everything that comes in each expansion. Uh, the Gauntlet returns for its 10th anniversary. On May 19th, Team Bungie will compete in the Gauntlet, a charity tournament of tabletop games amongst game industry professionals, all in support of Royal Longtime Partner Gamers Engage. How can you help us shine triumphant and take home the trophy again? Donate to grant our team power ups on the day of the competition. Not only that, but by contributing, you can earn one of three awesome incentives. So it goes over the tiers of donations. So if you want to go ahead and support that, go ahead and do so. Uh, it gives the uh, information where to go to to learn more about the competition as well. 
So as far as gaming stuff, that's pretty much it for the week. Like I said, the next video, which I'm about to record right now, is going to be going over all the exotic perks. Like I said, I cannot wait to really start building there. I cannot believe that we got that information already. I didn't think we were going to get anything either this far out or even period before Final Shape came out. I thought we had to discover that on our own. They went ahead and gave us all of it. I've uh, checked out some of those perks. Like I said, I was on the money for a lot of what I predicted. Now, there were a couple perks that didn't pop up that I thought might not. But some of the ones that I really didn't even expect to pop up or to be available and some of the role combinations, for example, Harder of Inmost Light and Starter Skills are available. In fact, not only are, is that particular combination available, it's available for all the classes. So I cannot wait. I'll be going over and comparing those perks around the next video. So I hope to get that out here so you guys can see that uh, tomorrow. Uh, but past that, that's going to do it for today. And this is for this is uh, the end of this week in Destiny. So please leave a like on the video. If you like what we're doing, please sub if you love what we're doing. I will see you guys on the next video.